look different than in the intro, but that's because we're going to transform into the ultimate New Year's Eve makeup look. You guys, let's get ready together. Take out your palettes, take out the glitter, take out your full coverage foundation because we're about to get glam. For today's makeup look, I'm definitely going to start off with the eyes and then move on to my face. So I'm definitely going to start with my eyes first. So I'm just going to apply some concealer to my eyelids. I usually always prime with um, concealer anyways. So I'm just going to do that now. I didn't pull out an eyeshadow palette. Oh my gosh. So... Which eyeshadow palette should I use? I can't believe I didn't pull one out. Oh, should I use my Amrezy? Ooh, I think I'm gonna use my Amrezy. Yes. This was um, one of my most favorite eyeshadow palettes this year. I bought this in January, actually for my birthday. My birthday is in January. My birthday is in 12 days. It's January 11th. So I actually bought this eyeshadow palette for myself for my birthday and I've been loving it all year long. It's pretty messy. I don't know if you guys can see it's pretty messy because I truly love it. This is good. We have some warm tones. We have some black. So I want to do a really smoky eyeshadow. I'm going to go into this color right here. This is OG. So now I'm going to switch to a clean brush that has nothing on it. And now I'm going to blend the edge of this color. With a smaller blending brush, I'm going to pick up the color. I don't know if this is going to make a big difference, but I'm just going to go into New Yorker right here. I don't know if it's deeper than OG or if it's the same. Let me see. Hmm. They're so similar. Hmm. I think it is making a little difference though. So I'm just going to concentrate that closer to my crease. So for this eyeshadow look, I am just working with the natural shape of my eye. I'm not extending my eyeshadows back or anything. I'm just going to keep it kind of round and just follow the natural shape of my crease. Now I'm going to take another brush, super tiny little blending brush, and I'm going to take the color 1988, which is a brown. Of course, if you don't have this eyeshadow palette, just look for colors that are similar to this in your makeup collection and apply that directly into my crease right here. So as we get closer to the lid, the colors are going to be getting darker. So we're going to have a gradient effect from lightest to darkest. So you got to be patient with this look because it does require a lot of blending and it's going to look ugly before it gets nice. So just trust the process, accept the ugliness, even if it looks like you just got a black eye, just trust it. It's going to look good at the end. So I'm going to go in with the previous brush, pick up a tiny bit more of new yorker new yorker i don't even know how to say that and go over the edge of 1988. 
so I know I'm looking crazy, but I'm gonna do but I'm gonna do that exact same thing over on this eye. Apply those same three colors and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I got that over on this eye and I was listening to Bad Bunny while I was doing this eye and I was legit blending my eyeshadow like super high. You guys, because it's New Year's Eve. Yes, if you guys are getting ready with me, let me know in the comments. And just to let you guys know, this process right here took two Bad Bunny songs. So just so you guys know. You gotta take your time, okay, with the blending. You gotta take your time. So now I'm gonna apply the color BK, which is a matte black. And tap this onto my lid. So far, I haven't had any fallout, which is awesome. I mean, I didn't do my face makeup just in case. But so far, I haven't had any fallout. So I'm just pressing the black onto my eyelid to get the most intensity that I can. But do you see how all the browns just help with the black? I'm not going to need to blend my black out so much since I already built up my gradient. So always when you're going to use a black eyeshadow, I recommend you do that. So that way you don't spend so much time blending out your black shadow because black shadow, I'm not going to lie, it's a pain in the butt. Definitely a more advanced makeup tutorial. Um, but it's beautiful. So you got to try and recreate this. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the previous brush that I applied the dark brown with. And I'm going to very gently... Go over the edge of my black to blend it into my brown. <gasps> oh, it looks so scary, but it's okay. We're going to get glam. We're about to get glam. We're going to go into glitter. So this is my e.l.f. Uh, glitter primer. I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hands. Pick it up with a brush and stamp that on my lid. And I'm going to keep this close to the bottom portion of my lid i'm gonna go into my nyx body my nyx face and body glitter in the color gun metal this is such a pretty color i'm gonna press that on oh my gosh what do you guys think i love this and once we clean up once we got our face makeup on lashes on oh it's gonna look so good okay so i'm just gonna add mascara and lashes so i'm gonna use my maybelline falsies black drama mascara so the lighting might have changed because the sun went down. I actually had to take a little eating break. Um, and I cleaned up underneath my eye a little bit, the fallout that I had. So I just slid this under here. That's it, just to pick up the little glitters off my face. So now I'm gonna apply my eyelashes. Salon Perfect Lash DNA Lashes for hooded eyes and almond eyes. So they have different um, styles according to your eye shape. So I have hooded almond eyes. So these are perfect for me. These are in the number 681. But the reason why I chose these is because they're not too big. They're wispy. They have a clear band and they're not too long. So this is really going to let my eyeshadow pop. It's going to let the glitter be seen through the eyelashes. The eyelashes are not going to overpower my makeup look. To use my NYX Angel Veil Primer to just smooth out my skin, make it look like I have a flawless complexion, even though I got a lot going on on my skin. <laughs> I'm 
For my foundation, I'm going to be using this Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the color Cashew 3W2. I feel like this foundation is so good for oily skin, so it, it lasts a long time. It stays matte. It doesn't break up. It's a great foundation for New Year's Eve, for any special occasion, for weddings. It also looks really pretty in photos and in person. It also looks really nice and natural. I love the finish of it. I feel like even if you have dry skin, you, you would like this foundation. So since I have so much darkness on my eyes, I feel like it's crucial to have a bright under eye. So if you, I always like doing a bright under eye. If you don't, I feel like this is a time where you should because you need to balance out the darkness. I also like to put it on the sides of my nose to help with my nose contour and I'm going to blend it out with my sponge. This is what's going to make the eyes really stand out, come together and not look like we have black eyes from getting into a fight. <laughs> so definitely if you do a black smoky eye, you need to wear concealer under your eyes. You cannot skip it. So now I'm going to set it with my Maybelline. Fit Me Loose Powder. We're going to be wearing our foundation for a long time, all the way until next year. So we're need, we need to bake it so that it stays in place. It doesn't break up. It doesn't get oily. It doesn't get greasy. So I'm going to leave this on for a while. I'm going to zoom you guys back in. We're going to do the brows and underneath our eyes. So I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in the color Zero. This eyeliner is so black and so creamy. It's so easy to apply and it also lasts a long time. And now for my bottom lash line, I'm smudging New Yorker onto my bottom lash line. Now taking a thin angled brush, I'm gonna pick up the color BK, the black, as close to the black eyeliner as I can. Okay, I wanna show you guys the difference. This is with the black eyeshadow and this has no black eyeshadow. And I'm just stamping this or like pressing it against my bottom lash line like this not smudging it so i did my brows really quick off camera using my l'oreal brow stylist definer in the color brunette and now i'm gonna get rid of all this bake by just pressing it into my skin Now I'm going to bronze with my Maybelline City Bronzer in the color 200. So I'm going to contour using uh, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and a smaller brush. For blush today, I'm going to use Wet n Wild Mellow Wine. For inner corner highlight, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy um, highlight. Mine's all broken, but I still use it because I still love it. And I'm going to go pretty heavy on the highlight. I want it to be bright since the whole entire eye is so dark. I 
and we're almost done so I'm gonna apply um, highlights to my cheekbones and the tip of my nose I'm gonna skip out on the uh, brow bone and I'm gonna blend out my highlight to tone it down a little I'm gonna line my lips with this LA Girl lip liner in the color Café. Okay, so I love the lip. I feel like it pairs very well with the browns that we have on the eyes. And I want to keep it matte because we have so much going on on the eyes. I just want the focus to be on the eyes. I want the lip to be nude and matte. So to lock everything in, we're going to use the All Nighter Setting Spray by Urban Decay, which is my all-time favorite makeup setting spray in the whole world because I have oily skin and in the summer when I'm in the summer or when I'm partying clubbing whatever I know that this thing is always going to keep my makeup looking awesome no matter what so I love drenching myself into that I also love setting spray because it sets the powders into your skin and it's going to look more skin like and it's just going to look overall better so I still need to fix up my hair, but before I do that, I want to mention today's giveaway. is the Urban Decay Holiday Hall of Fame. So in the kit, of course, it's going to come with an all-nighter makeup setting spray. Be the best setting spray ever. So you guys can wear your makeup for as long as you like because you know this thing has got your back. You have a full-size 24-7 Glide-On Eyeliner, the one that I used today. And you have a full-size primer potion, eyeshadow primer, and also a full-size Urban Decay lipstick. And this is a red color. This is in the color Bad Blood. So if you want to enter the giveaway, I have the rules listed below. But it's super simple. You just have to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and comment below either your email or your Instagram handle so I can contact you in case you win. So this giveaway is going to be open for two weeks and you can enter in my other giveaways. Also, it's still not too late. I'll have them linked down below, but they will be ending soon. So be sure to watch those videos and enter the giveaway. So really quickly, let me fix up my hair. Put on some bling bling. So I'm going to throw on some more glow oil. This is the Soul Shimmering Dry Oil. If you're wearing a dress, put this all over your legs. And you're going to glow so beautiful underneath the lights, underneath photo flash. And that completes today's New Year's Eve glam. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I also hope you guys have a great New Year's Eve and a great new year. I know this year has been super tough on a lot of us, maybe all of us in some sort of way. I want you guys to reflect on all that negativity and find a positive. I want you guys to think about how those negative events, those negative emotions, those negative Anything negative that has that happened to you this year, think of how it made you better, how it made you stronger, how it changed you, how it affected you in any positive way so that you can bring that into 2021 with you and for all the years to come. I know that I have some things to be grateful for for this year. I know that a lot of the struggles that I've been through 
Um, I'm gonna try and find the positives in them. I, I have found some of them and I'm still gonna look for more. I'm gonna take that time to reflect on and I hope that you guys do the same because I want you guys to find positivity in your life and become a better person, a better woman in any and every way possible. So anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun doing these makeup tutorials for you. I had so much fun doing these giveaways for you guys. I love you guys all so, so much and you guys have really truly helped me get through 2020 i have so much fun creating these videos for you guys talking to you guys you guys are all around the world and it's just so amazing that i have such awesome followers and subscribers i wanted to show you guys my love and appreciation with these giveaways so i hope you guys enjoyed them so this is the last video of 2020 and i wish you all a happy new year i love you guys and i will see you all next time bye